Hello good people, I'm Dimitri and I've been very happy with Razer, they've been in my good books for their most recent uh, gaming peripheral releases and the V2 cycle of products aim to bring appropriate improvements for 2020 and this is exactly what is promised with the new Ornata V2 keyboard. Launching at $99 just like the original, my first reaction when I heard the price was absolutely not, when the Huntsman T is only $20 cheaper and it fits my gaming style perfectly. But then I wonder if all the added value features on the Ornata V2 make it worth your time. Of course, nothing beats a proper mechanical switch, but I gotta say the hybrid mechanical switch on here feels pretty nice. I feel like the clicky nature for a mechanical lookalike is the proper direction and they must have done something with the switch because it feels much better and improved versus the original uh, Ornata Chroma. On the Chroma, the keys kind of got stuck on the way up, whereas with the V2, the rebounds is much cleaner. All right, so first of all, there are a few differences on the frame versus the original Chroma keyboard, like the added media keys that are also mecha mechanical and a small volume wheel with good texture and click to mute functionality and instant volume adjustment. But the scroll steps are pretty weak with little tactility. Still a better volume wheel tone than the embarrassment that is on the $250 G915. Let's not get too excited about the Included wrist rest. It's cool that it is magnetic and the thin foam padding is nice for a little bit of comfort to flatten out your wrist posture, but this surface traps so much heat and I had to stop using it because it got really sweaty. Also, I think the reason they went with low profile keycaps is because the actual keyboard frame is chunky, so the height of the V2 is about the same as a standard keyboard with normal keycaps. They are ABS of course, but I like the slightly matte texture and clean beautiful font that is a bit too thin, so not much lighting gets through, but still it's a very pretty font, but the white underplate helps to even evenly spread all that RGB goodness around the keycaps. You can remove the keycaps to see in the membrane switch and the clicking mechanism, just don't expect to swap out the keycaps given the stem design. As you type, the keyboard does not flex, but it is a plastic frame after all, so the build quality is pretty lean. The cable is non-removable, but they added the cable routing channels at the bottom with extra long braided cable. And here we also have the dual step angle adjustment that are nice and stable. And I initially thought this keyboard was spill and water resistant because of these holes throughout the frame. You can actually see illumination uh, shining right through them. I thought those would be considered to be like drain ports where if liquid is spilled on top of the keyboard, it does make its way out through those holes, but it isn't. And Razer have confirmed this is not a waterproof, spill-proof keyboard. And so the highlight here then would be the mecha membrane clicky switches. They don't feel exactly clean and crisp like your blues and greens, but they do have really satisfying softness when you bottom out. It's almost like there is a thick fabric at the bottom of the frame that absorbs the impact, but it isn't, it's the rubber dome. Now the clicky point is somewhere in the middle, so it doesn't happen instantaneously. You have to depress the key a little bit and the sound is sharp and they feel quite good. And I actually really appreciate this keyboard for typing because the actuations are not as loud as your traditional clicky switches. I really like the sound profile, but my issue here is consistency as I feel like the clicky point is slightly higher on certain keys. And also the stem design introduces a lot of wobble into all of the keys basically, especially the large ones. And after having spent some time in game with the Ornata V2, it's not a bad experience, but having no competitive advantage makes this product almost dead on arrival. For example, the Razer Huntsman keyboard has been sitting under $100 for the past three months, and this is a better keyboard experience in 
all aspects. Then we have the really affordable and highly reviewed Red Dragon with MX Blues, giving you the clicky feel, but under $50 with an actual mechanical switch and even combo deals from Habit uh, that are half the price of the V2. Making me feel like Razer really dropped the ball here because this is the same keyboard from 2017 with the same price point with just added media keys and the new cable channels. But Come on guys, that isn't enough to be competitive. What I feel like Razer should have done with the Ornata V2 is make it water and spill resistant to be competitive versus the Corsair K55, which is also in that rubber dome territory, but it's half the price and it is waterproof and it's a full size keyboard. It does everything the V2 does, but is much cheaper and it's also waterproof. So if you have $100 to spend on the keyboard, many other options should cross your mind, including the SteelSeries Apex 5. This keyboard also has hybrid mechanical clicky switches. It's also priced at $99, but with a much better build quality, pretty lighting and a kind of cool gimmicky OLED screen. By the way, let me know if you want me to do a full comparison between the Apex 5 and the Ornata V2, which I think should have been priced at $69 or lower because otherwise it is a hard pass. All right, guys, I'm Dimitri. Thanks so much for watching. Check out this other relevant content. Subscribe for more. I'll talk to you in the next video.